everybody welcome to today's video i'm here in ireland and we are racing at idc today is just a practice day it's friday we're setting up the car ireland it's been raining it's been cold it's been a bunch of things um, so we missed first practice because of a technical thing that we're working on got it fixed i'm going back out in 10 minutes from there we have basically the entire weekend to film and look at the jab fest which is 500 cars and then there's 86 drivers competing at idc so you guys will see how I do. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Saturday and practice yesterday went really well we have a couple things to change one of them being the nitrous working with force at link we are changing the nitrous from a 300 shot down to a 150 we only have one bottle so this is gonna do two things changing it to a 150 it's gonna save nitrous and it's gonna give us a second tune that we're able to use on smaller tracks where we definitely don't need that much power doing those things along with a small amount of other things on the list but this is today for us and then we're gonna go look at some castles so we'll throw some shots of that in there what else did we break today what else well, did we yesterday break? oh yeah we broke this potentiometer one sec okay so this little shaft here right here so it's supposed to look like this but on this side it seems to have deleted itself I do still have the little piece, so I'm gonna slide her back in and see if it works, but it kind of worked because we 3D printed the bracket and the bracket broke, which I wanted it to do so that it wouldn't break the thing, but then I think the thing slid out and then I think the thing, anyways. Uh, we just hit it the wall, um, testing my products to the max. Uh, we were able to get it fixed quickly. It's now qualifying, so we're putting new tires on, setting the pressure, and we're ready to go.
Okay, we just finished qualifying. I had an 84.7, putting us in 18th. I knew that would be a mid-pack because of how good everybody here is. Um, so we're going to be facing whoever came 15th. I think it's the guy that won or podiumed yesterday. So it's going to be a really close top 32 battle. The car's good. I'm good. We're having fun. That's the importance of this. So we'll see. How, you guys are going to see how I do. And that's a wrap. We got out in top eight against Kevin Quinn. Kevin Quinn ended up placing second overall, but man, was he ever fast and good. I don't think I really knew that going into it, but he's one of the best drivers in Ireland. So I know that now and for next time. This was an absolute blast. The car cosmetically is a disaster, so we will need to fix a bunch of that. But mechanically, everything is sound. The engine's good. I really have no complaints mechanically. We didn't do much other than we broke some stuff and then fixed it really easily and that's how I designed it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys like this content and we will see you in Spain at Driftmaster. Okay, so we are back at the shop. I'm already on the sim practicing for Spain and I just wanted to go over a few things, kind of reviewing the IDC event in Ireland and how well the car worked. I have to give credit where credit is due. When people saw the car in my pit, it was like, I've never had that much attention before. So it was a really good statement piece. But to mention some changes that we did to the car, we put in a transmission from G-Force, specced out by myself and Joe at G-Force. The gearing that we changed to the shorter second gear, doing the gears here at the shop after he shipped them to me because I really wanted a specific ratio. What a game changer as far as pulling out of the pocket and getting a really solid pull up the line, making the car way more drivable and a lot faster. And basically first gear is a pick gear and then second, third, fourth is just gonna be my, I start in second, pull in third, and then I, I go into fourth and initiate basically and I have all the wheel speed and power. Um, it's easy to calculate because of the one-to-one -one ratio of fourth and everything was amazing in that regard. Got into the wall, wrecked some stuff, the Kensei wheel, took the hit, basically broke the entire half off of the wheel 
and then I broke a rear toe arm. So honestly, if the wheel was any stronger, I would be worried about the rest of the suspension. So it took the load really well. The D&D seats that I was sitting in, super comfortable. I spent a lot of time sitting in it as well. Forrest from Link ECU, man, we were going back and forth with the nitrous tune, downing the nitrous from a 300 to a 150 because I really didn't need the 300. We were trying to conserve nitrous because it's really hard to get in Ireland. This car was digging at the full power required. Wasn't hitting limiter, the perfect zone. We were making about 800 wheel, running pretty low tire pressures. So that was also amazing. Thank you, Forrest and Link ECU. And then Nitrous Outlet, John, he was reaching out to us and making sure that we had everything that we needed. And we're actually getting some parts from Nitrous Outlet going into Spain. We're gonna get uh, bottle baths for basically warming up the bottles outside of the car because it takes too long for us to warm the bottle, a new bottle up in the car. They need to be closer to the pressure that we need to run them at before I put it in the car. We were kind of using the sun, which is hit or miss. The sun is like out and heating up the bottle and then when it goes away, the bottle cools right back down again. So all of those things, plus everyone else that's been on board, Drift HQ has always been a supporter. The Kevlar body kit from them has taken a massive hit. We got hit probably five or six times this event and everything is still in one piece, although damaged. So big shout out to Drift HQ if you need body panels and stuff. It's the only place you can go to really. I know I'm missing more people. Um, health performance brake lines, they did amazing. This wasn't supposed to be like a sponsorship shout out. We do usually make videos and stuff individually for them, but I had to show them the appreciation because of how well this car performed. Out of the container, didn't really do anything to it. Man, what an absolute weapon. Texas Speed and Fab Mac Performance. I'm gonna shout them out together because I'm kind of running a combination of both Texas Speed and Fab Mac. The engine put out, without the nitrous, it's a little slow, but with that nitrous shot, man, what a sick package. So also drive shaft shop, axles, drivetrain, held up to the absolute abuse that I put it through. And then just a quick shout out to BC Racing, Vibrant Performance, DEI, keeping the engine cool and all of the stuff from catching on fire. Literally the heat in this is, insane coilovers and everything works great on to spain the car aesthetically isn't looking as good as it could the driver's side's perfect the passenger side thinking of how it's going to look in spain you know you're going to catch a good side for sure um, but other than that man it was uh, an experience uh, we saw some really cool stuff in Ireland as well so can't wait to go back there in a month and a half's time um, but we are off to Spain, so wish us luck. We'll see you guys on that one, and I'll see you guys for the Tip Tuesday, which we'll probably do on a not a Tuesday, but, you know, that's, that's what happens when you're this busy. See ya!